Hey everyone, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. Now don't forget to give this a cheeky little like. Make sure you've subscribed and turn on notifications for my weekly travel vlogs. So let's talk about this so-called P&O app, what it can do, how to use it and whether it's actually any good. First of all, what is it? Well, the P&O My Holiday app isn't strictly speaking an app. Oh my goodness, I know, right? There's nothing to download onto your phone at all. It's actually a web page accessed only when on board and only when connected to the ship's Wi-Fi, which is free if you only plan on using the My Holiday page. To use My Holiday, simply turn on airplane mode on your phone. You do not want to be connected to the ship's roaming network unless you want astronomical charges. Next, connect to P&O Cruise's guest Wi-Fi for free. Once connected, visit myholiday.pocruises.com via your browser or there are QR codes in your cabin and dotted around the ship that you can scan for direct access. You'll then be prompted to log in and you'll need your cruise card and the last six digits just below the barcode to do so. And you're in. Think of My Holiday as a digital pocket planner. You can essentially personalize your holiday experiences from the comfort of your cabin, sun lounger, your toilet, wherever really. For easy access, I'd recommend saving My Holiday to your home screen and this is how you do it. So what can you do with My Holiday? Well, let's have a run through. You can view your onboard account, check in your purchases, any remaining onboard spending money you may have, and your total spend, including any loyalty discounts. Yes, you can still visit reception if you'd like a printed copy at any time during your cruise. Thank you, Jesus. You can make a dining reservation too at one of the many specialty restaurants, although you can also do this for some of those restaurants about two weeks in advance of your cruise via your P&O account. Likewise, you can book on board by visiting the front desk or calling from your cabin. You are also able to join virtual queues for breakfast, lunch and or dinner in the main dining rooms and some restaurants such as the Keelan Cow on Iona and Avia and the Glass House. You'll be notified on the My Holiday page when your table is ready and you then head to that restaurant check-in desk and Bob is your uncle and Petunia is your auntie. You can also use My Holiday to sample all the food menus on board. You can, of course, just head to the MDR and wait in line. You'll either be seated with a minimal weight or given a pager, so you can then enjoy a drink at a bar first whilst waiting. There are, of course, a range of eateries that don't require pre-booking. You can just walk on in. Did you know you can use My Holiday to book your shore excursions? If you don't have access to My Holiday, there's also a Shore Excursions desk on board. However, Shore Excursions are available to purchase on dry land approximately three months in advance of your cruise. And I would highly recommend doing this so as you don't miss out on your first choice. On Avia, Iona and Britannia, you can pre-book some of the shows in advance using My Holiday, including the Limelight Club, the very intimate and popular 710 Club and headliner shows. Simply click on the date, show, time, number of passengers in attendance and confirmation is immediate. You don't have to book, but you might risk not getting a seat on arrival. Want to find out which bars serve your favourite drinks or where you'll find the best range of drinks included on your drinks package? No problem. These can be found in the drinks tab. Thank you, Jesus. You can book one of two internet packages through My Holiday. First of all, you'll be taken through the process of registering an account and then choose your cruise Wi-Fi package. Wi-Fi at sea can be a little bit patchy, so you might need to exhibit some patience. You can access the in-room dining menu through cabin services. Unfortunately, you can't yet order your food through My Holiday. You still have to phone it through. But don't panic, there is a physical in-room dining menu in your actual cabin. Hallelujah. Another feature, you can access a map of the ship via cabin services. Every deck is shown with all venues and their locations. Whilst there are plenty of screens around the ship showing locations, this is still a handy guide. My Holiday is available on all P&O ships and whilst all features are available on Avia, Iona and Britannia, there's no function nor necessity to book entertainment on Azura, Ventura, Aurora or Arcadia and you cannot yet book the kids clubs on Azura or Ventura, although P&O state this facility will be available soon.
Of course, Arcadia and Aurora are adults only, so there are no kids clubs on those ships. And there you have the rundown of my holiday. In our view, this made some of our planning whilst on board much smoother, and whilst there are still some tweaks to functionality on the way, it really helped us to avoid lines and wait times. The downside? Well, the web page went down for about a day and a half on our last cruise. Bookings were still honoured if already made, and you revert to the good old fashioned rock up and wait to be seated if you haven't booked, but we didn't encounter any problems. Unlike the Princess Cruises Medallion app, you can't use My Holiday to message family and friends on the ship, nor can you use it to pay for drinks, have food and beverages brought to you wherever you are on the ship, nor open your cabin door. Not that these features worked for us well on Princess to be honest. However, it's a step in the right direction for p &O. Have you used My Holiday and how did you find the experience? Please do drop your comments below and I will get back to you. As always, don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.